The judiciary will on Monday roll out the introduction of judicial services at Huduma centers with the first phase lined up for Nairobi and Thika before nationwide implementation. The, the judiciary says it is seeking to leverage the success of the Huduma centers and particularly the technology deployed to enhance access to justice among Kenyans. The Law Society of Kenya has, however, protested the move, saying it will lead to an increase in unethical practices, questioning why the judiciary was quick to implement the plan without sufficient consultation at a time when concerns were rife that the judiciary is under the executive's chokehold. Jim Taigoin reports. A post on the judiciary's social media handles on the anticipated rollout of judicial services in six Huduma centers slated for next week Monday triggered a heated debate as the Law Society of Kenya, led by its president, Eric Theuri, took issue with what they termed a rash decision that was bound to attract masqueraders and paint their industry in bad light. Many of the comments that were made by lawyers this afternoon regard the issue of brokers, the issues of quacks, the issues of corruption, and the issues of what some lawyers call facilitation, and whether having this service done in Huduma centers would become difficult for the management of the law society to supervise practice by its members. And, and that is an important issue. During a virtual meeting to deliberate on the matter, chaired by Justice Kanye Kimondo, a member of the committee on operationalization of judiciary desks at Uduma centers, attended by close to 400 lawyers, LSK urged the judiciary to suspend Monday's implementation until emerging issues were addressed. The judiciary has also announced uh, that um, come March, there will be a countrywide rollout of e filing and so therefore uh, uh, the process of filing uh, proceedings in court would likely be uh, virtual as uh, currently happens in those stations that uh, have e-filing. And so our thinking would be that whereas this may be a good idea, it may have been overtaken by time uh, by virtue of the fact that uh, the judiciary will roll out e-filing before the intention of this Uduma Center, judicial and judicial services being offered by Uduma Center, well, whether they were subjected to public participation. Public participation under Article 10 is one of the key national values, my Lord. Why the hurry? Why the haste? Why would the judiciary want to implement this at haste, especially coming at the time whereby the executive they have been threatening and also, and also issuing threats against the independence of the judiciary? So the timing is also pivotal. And as such, my lord, we have to invite the judiciary to take time, let, 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 let the judiciary consult us. There is no hurry, world is not coming for them tomorrow, and we also deserve a right to, to participate in all these processes. Kanye says the judiciary has entered into a collaboration agreement with the Public Service Ministry and the Public Service State Department, a matter that raised issues on what then was the fate of the independence of the judiciary, as it was seemingly engaging the executive in running its affairs. Keep in mind, although this has been raised as an issue of separation of powers, that although the three arms of government are supposed to be independent, and the judiciary as a core equal arm of government must remain independent, and we are not surrendering an inch on our decisional independence, I think that has been covered very well by Ms. Rose Washuka. Our constitution also speaks about constructive interdependence of all the arms of government. And I think that's the foundation for this exercise of establishing the Huduma desks uh, for the judiciary. How will the judiciary be independent? It will not be independent when the Huduma Center is being controlled by the executive. In fact, it will presuppose a situation whereby the, the judiciary will now be directly in control of the executive. It is as good as establishing the judiciary within the state house. 
services that will be available in the Huduma centers include filing of a civil matter, filing documents for an existing case, request and issuance of mentioned dates, and also general inquiries on ongoing matters. Kenyans will also get access to copies of rulings and also court orders. Similarly to the customer care desk at the registry, a Kenyan will get e-filing support for any pending matter. Those that will have already come before court will be able to settle their fines and deposits and also cash bail, among others. The desks will be manned by officers from the Judiciary Registry and will help in easing the backlog in the e-filing system that is already in use. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV.